Welcome to the Crypto Boss Engine channel. What is going on with Bonk? It just got listed on Coinbase, so I thought I'd do some TA on it. This is the actually the Bonk chart on MXC because obviously Coinbase chart would have literally no data. Uh, weekly charts overbought, three-day charts overbought, daily chart is overbought. Be cautious. You have a CME gap all the way down here, which you eh, maybe eventually you go back down there. I did this is the third time entering um, a, a, a long futures trade on it 20x leverage this time with 14 dollars nothing crazy i don't even know what that'd be worth 14 times 20 what is that a very small trade on a small account a thousand dollar account so it's a 28 percent of my account uh but that's what i've entered on high risk you know well it's not high risk with that amount of money 14 dollars. it's really not that high risk on a thousand dollar account for our time frame is curving down we'll see if we can get a flyer it looks like maybe You've been overbought on the four time frame for now. One, two, three, basically four candles, three complete candles. I would expect a flag here. Uh, two charts is flagging up for sure. You're not really losing any momentum. You haven't lost 25. So I would say if you stay above 25 and stay above that last local low and the two hour chart can continue to reset, that's extremely bullish. Then you would want to see that on higher time frame, such as the four hour time frame. The one hour chart time frame is already reset. One hour time frame is definitely in a bull flag. Um, and it's completely oversold. Actually, now it's getting ready to make another move to the upside. Part of the reason I entered that long trade, also the 15 minute looked good when I entered about a half hour ago. Um, the, so let's just see the measure move. This measure move is gonna be crazy. Uh, measure move is the high was 35. The last local low we'll call was 21. So you're gonna look for another big move like that upwards of a new all-time high all the way up to, you know, 42, 41 area, 41 to be conservative. That is the measure move on Bonk is about 41 to 42. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Personally, I'm looking at the 15 minute time frame that is technically making a double top but I could really see this continuing to play out. Here you have a falling wedge. If you just look at the smaller time frames, you have a falling wedge in a bull pennant. Um, and this is pretty bullish in my humble opinion. So measure move from here would be from the last local high, 31.8, to the last local low. And your measure move, at least on the smaller time frames, for another move to the upside would be 34.6. Short term, the 15 minute time frame does need to reset. But as long as the 15 minute time frame holds, like I would say 26 or especially 27, you can still be golden on the smaller time frame. So really, I would like to see this hold 27. Um, for the best case scenario, but you can probably go as low as this last local low here at 26.6 and still be bullish. We'll say 26.7. If you lose 26.7, then short term it's not bullish anymore. And if it's not bullish at 26.7, then your next support would be 25. If you lose 25, I would be looking for a massive move back to the downside. Um, but that's what I'm looking at a falling wedge and a bull pennant on the smaller time frames. And on the one hour time frame and the two hour time frame, you are definitely in a bull pennant. Uh, be cautious though, if you do lose 25, I could see a massive dump all the way back down to 15, and that could be a good short entry. So um, that's just what I'm looking at for our bonk. Short term, it looks really bullish as long as you hold these key levels at 26.7 and 25. If you lose 26.7, it's probably going back to 25, and if you lose 25, you know it's game over. So I would really think you got to hold 26.7, worst case scenario. With that being said, guys, that's all I got. If you guys have requests for other augments, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next update. I did get into this trade at 28.6, so now on 20x leverage, I am sitting up pretty nicely. It's looking like a good trade. I'm actually trying this 200 simple moving average, which is all the way down there at 17.6. So in until the price or until this yellow line gets back above 29 basically i'm gonna be not moving my stop loss up so it's yeah, again i'm willing to lose the entire 14 bucks because it's not much money for my account um and it's only an isolate so i can't lose my entire account but we'll see i'm gonna right now i'm up a casual 85 percent that's why i thought it would be more but that's okay um and uh if it goes up to this measure move i'll be up really nicely that's all i got see you guys in the next video